up, y'all? It is 12.02 in the morning or afternoon. We're doing deliveries right now for Capsule. Doing our first shift. They give us 13 orders. And as Jess can see, I got the puffer jacket, which means it's super cold out here. Evil. We outside. I mean, it's sunny out. It's just that it's cold. So you're gonna have to wear a sweater, jacket, thermal, double socks. You know what I mean? So it's not that bad out right now. But um, in the nighttime, it's gonna get super cold. So that's why I brought my North Face because I don't want to get sick or cold. Yeah, guys, we're outside on the shock. close to my first drop off but I'm already sweating and that's the thing when I'm wearing like my North Face jacket and like I'm layered up especially when you ride your bike you know you do the peak so it's like do you really want to wear your jacket but that's the thing when you stop riding when you stop riding you get cold because you're not moving so you gotta build up heat and that's what I'm doing right now I'm sweating so honestly, I can't wait till I'm done doing all these drop-offs because honestly, I want to take my jacket off. But I know if I stay in one spot, I'm gonna get cold. They gave us 13 drop-offs, luckily. I mean, even though I had to come all the way to Douglas, which is annoying because like, why? Why can't they get, why can't they get me where I'm at, you know? But it's okay, you know, we make sure excuses. We gotta get to it no matter what. Papa wheelie! No wheelies, man. Every time I see a moped, I'm like, yo, Papa Wheelie. And no one wants to pop a Wheelie for me. Uh, Tuesday, October 15. And I know I haven't been uploading like that, but stay tuned because uh, definitely, like I said, I'm gonna start uploading more daily content for you guys. After we're done with drop us, we're definitely gonna go to the city, link up with the homies and see what we'll get into. So uh, sit back and enjoy the ride. My first drop off. Here you are. That's for you. Thanks. There you guys have it. Just finished dropping off my first order. I'm sweating bullets, man. Like, I hate this. The sun is beaming and there's barely any clouds to block the sun. So, I mean, I'm not complaining because then again, I'd rather ride my bike out in the hot weather. They got us over here in Douglas. It's like stores everywhere. The last thing we need is snow to come. Hell no. No, no. That one. All right. My second delivery. 
or a tap for drink. Second delivery. Got the shock out. Looking real nice. No more carbon wheels on this bad boy because uh, I have it on my peanut. Yep. And there you guys have it, just dropping on my fourth delivery of the day. It is in fact 12.22 in the afternoon and we're doing first shift of capsule. And then once we're done uh, dropping off all these deliveries, we're gonna go back to the pub base and pick up second shift. And we have 10 more deliveries to go. It's pretty nice out, despite the fact that it's, you know, a little too hot, but it's not affecting me because uh, it's also cold out. Oh, my fault, I'm sorry. Scared me. Yeah. No problem. We're gonna continue with deliveries. We're located right now in Brooklyn by uh, Douglas. And I'm outside on the shark, as you guys can see. Looking real nice, real beautiful. Quick bike check, quick bike check. So I got the Envy cockpit, as you guys can see. I got some regular data drops. I'm trying to get some Envy drops so I could finally match the wheel set with the Envy cockpit and my C post. I got some black uh, zip courier bar tape. I have the quad lock phone mount in the front. I also use this for when I'm doing TT. I could just hold on to that. So I'm Gucci. And, uh, we got some, uh, a red spacer headset with the Columbus integrated top cap. We got the Chanel Vigorelli Shark size 56 in red with the holographic decals looking real nice i put a kilua sticker because i was bored and it looks pretty nice so that's that uh i got time attack pedals as you guys can see with the omniums 165 and the 49 tooth chain ring zen chen as you guys can see real nice i might put a 51 just because i want to make this bike more like uh you know like i want to book it i don't want to be spending too much but at the same time it's like if i do that you know i won't be able to maneuver crazy through traffic like you know cut through traffic because if you have a speedy gear ratio you're going to be able to you know ride through traffic and all that but if you have a big gear ratio obviously you know you're going to have to you know use a lot of force on your legs and then you won't be able to stop because you know you're putting too much force so do you really want to put a big tooth chain ring or do you want a small one for like cruising the streets of NYC so I preferably would just stay like that 49 uh, 16 that's my gear ratio 49 16 but uh, like I said you know I might put a bigger chain ring not on this bike because then I thought about it it's my working bike for the meantime so I'll just upgrade the Pinarello chain ring and put a bigger one so that way I could just straight move you know through traffic and all that so yeah guys i got the regular uh izumi chain ring we got the uh, raya wheel sets front and back uh lace to our uh, purple nipples as you guys can see real nice with the white industry hub and black front and back yes sir looking real nice purple nipples in the front as well i got the carbon uh seat posts that Chanelli uh, puts on their bikes and uh, got a specialized power comp saddle in black as well with the uh, power saddle bag so that way you guys can put whatever you guys need your bike tube allen keys a wrench I don't think a wrench could fit there but you know like get your goodies and that's about it you know that's my bike I got the back light my front light as well you know, you gotta stay visible out here in the streets of NYC, especially in the dark time because, you know, people don't, sometimes don't see you. That's pretty much it. Looking real nice. That's my bike check. So, yeah, guys, I'm about to unlock it right now. It is 12.26 in the afternoon and we got 10 more deliveries. So, strap the GoPro on and uh, continue with the drop off. Yeah, guys, that's my bike check. My Chanel, Vigorelli, Shark, Rari. Looking real nice. I know I had Envy's on. But I took them off and I put it on my Pinarello bike because it just looks so nice on my Pinarello. And this bike, I'm gonna just use this bike for work because at the end of the day, my other Pinarello bike is a carbon bike. And you know, I'm not trying to really, you know, sacrifice that bike. Even though I don't want to sacrifice this bike too because it's, it's just a gift. 
from Mishka, you know what I mean? So like, I love this bike, but uh, you gotta be cautious, you know, in the streets of NYC, cause anything could happen. So yeah, let's go ahead and roll out, head to our next drop off, and it should be legit, like around the corner. You know what's one, seven, six? You know what, 176 Clinton? No, not here, not 176. Outside? Yeah. All right, thank you, bro. Woo. Hello. There you guys have it. Just gonna drop it on my fifth delivery. Honestly, it's not that bad outside. Once you start riding, right, and you cool off for a bit, that little breeze at the end, you know, it just, everything like you know your body then just cools down so you don't start sweating like crazy if i'm booking it and i'm just straight like not stopping i'm definitely gonna build up so much heat that my body's gonna be irritated because you know i'm sweating so you know once you just cool off for a few like just relax for like a couple of seconds you let you feel that breeze you know entering your body and it just feels so good because there's a 12 31 in the afternoon like i said uh nine more deliveries honestly i don't know who makes these deliveries who sets up these routes because this is a crazy route like i legit came all the way from metropolitan had to come all the way to clinton hill i don't know if you guys could tell but this is clinton hill and look at my manifest like look at this so like i was all the way over here i had to come all the way back down here i mean the good thing is that they're not you know separate too much like they're all together all i gotta do is just go up decab or go up uh willoughby and drop this off all in one line so it's not really that bad i hate when they send me out to like best eye or uh you know crown heights because honestly it's annoying you know because then you have to walk upstairs there's no elevators so uh hey guys uh let's go ahead and drop off these orders and uh continue with drop offs so many trees out there but anyways i hope everyone's having a good day today film me because at the end of the day no one's gonna do it for you you gotta go out there and do it yourself so yeah fun fact we're passing right now by uh saint joseph university as you guys can see right there look at the sign it's a big building another dorm and dorms and college students there we outside though Activo. Got my phone pouch, no face, supreme sweater, and outdoor mask with sunglasses. So if you, got, if you want to go cop one, I'll link it in the description. Use code on a 10 to get 50% off. Hey, what Absolutely. Hello, you can sell my. Woo. Fifth. Fifth floor. That's the life of a bike messenger. That sometimes you're gonna have to walk upstairs all the way to the fifth floor or sometimes even the tenth floor. Which is pretty nuts because, you know, like there's no elevators. And that's what I'm talking about, you know. Sometimes I hate coming out here because there's no elevators. So you're gonna have to walk upstairs. So I'm wearing road cleat another thing to keep in mind if, if you're trying to ride or work as a bike messenger that you're gonna have to ride platform shoes because it's not it's not comfortable walking with these kind of shoes but once you get used to it yeah it's not a big deal but i still prefer you know to walk on platform shoes because it's more helpful and better you don't fall because one time story time i was walking down the stairs just like this and then i don't know i said and my foot that I rolled, I rolled my ankle and I was so tight because it was hurting like a beat. So yeah, man, I'm on a shot right here. It's not bad, it's a quick little cardio exercise. And uh, that's about it. So let's continue with deliveries. I know once I go outside, that little breeze is gonna hit me and it's gonna feel so good. Oh, yes, yes. 
so nice out. Like, I'm literally wearing a sweater, a t shirt, my GoPro strap, the North Face jacket, puffer jacket. I got my Adidas sweatpants. I have two thermal pants underneath my sweatpants. So, I'm Gucci for the day, you know? Like, I'm prepared. Yesterday, it was so cold out. Like, I was only wearing my Supreme sweater and uh, my Adidas sweatpants. I wasn't wearing no thermos, so imagine I was freezing my ass. I have uh, eight more deliveries to go. It is 12.44 in the afternoon. We're gonna have to keep going up Willoughby. Also, I don't know if you guys know, but we just finished reaching 37,000 subscribers. So big massive shout out to all of you guys once again for the constant love and support. I really appreciate you guys for real from the bottom of my heart. I know I will say this, but it's true. Like you guys motivate me a lot and honestly, you guys, in the world to me so let's just try to keep you know progressing let's try to aim for 100k subscribers because that's the main goal is to obviously grow and be bigger we're gonna get there one day you gotta keep on posting keep on grinding and eventually we'll get there the next day what is up you guys it is currently the next day it is 2 50 in the afternoon and i'm about to go drop off my last delivery for second window we're doing capsule deliveries and it is october 16 wednesday it's a beautiful day outside despite the fact that you know we're getting close to winter we still outside get into it more of a sweater orion sweater i don't know if you guys can see but big massive shout out to orion once again once i'm done we're gonna go to uh the the city and uh link up with the homies link up with jacks and slow boy jay and see what we get into you know what i mean so yeah guys i don't know how this vlog is gonna turn out but we're still outside getting into it you know i'm outside on the shark there you guys have it just really dropping on my last order close to the house but before we head to the city i'm gonna go to the crib and pick up my helmet so that way i could film some pov rides have to go put on top of my helmet so uh and also you know safety is always number one rule when you come into biking i'm not wearing my helmet right now but that's because you know i'm just being cautious i'm not going too fast or being aggressive but once i'm done you know gotta put on the helmet because you know these drivers out here so i'll be right back back outside got my helmet on safety's first now we're gonna make our way to the city probably get some food before we link up with the boys if not we'll see what we get into it's a little bit windy out a little bit cold but we still out here making it happen because no one's gonna do it for you you gotta go out there and do it yourself.
That's far. He's at five for ten more, depending on how they look, how new they are. I'm gonna go on to the track bike out here. Okay. Don't you fucking move. Oh, that bitch gonna look bad, Jay. Just hold the bike there so I can find hold the on, chain Hold on, hold on, don't move so I don't scratch the chain Shh, Stay tuned, y'all. This is this is that's just, how you work in the bar. This is just yeah, I'm about the bars like this. Yeah, you are. Checkpoint. Like, Checkpoint. <laughs> oh, come on, yeah. the bar. Nah, that ass. I'm like this. Bullhorns. Yeah. The bullhorns. Yeah. Yeah. Upside down bullhorns. Bullhorns. Nah, yo, but come here, bro. You gotta. Ah, I'm about to grab this chain ring, man. Shit, oh. cook in my hand. The Look, the that shit was denting into my finger right there. Mm. Sigan viendo. Sigan viendo. <laughs> yeah, let's show them the frame. Bro, the uh, turn the back. How much was that? Like, wait, can I just hang the bitch or something? Nah, bro, 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 uh, just, just hold, hold it for it. a second. You always want me to hold it for a second, and it turns into a while. Hey, yo, Ooh. man. Hold up, we gotta go on this side. You don't want me to be a bike fan? Come on, I got you. Come on. I'm about to be the bike stand for you, turn on. Nobody got this bike stand. Nobody. Nobody got this bike stand. Shout out to Ish. I'm trying to tell you. Be outside. You know the vibes. When we do a hotline though. I need a... People want to see a hotline. I need a hotline key. We're going to get it done. We're going to get this hotline going. Feel me? I'm going to get ready. I need the island key. I think this one's too short. Your girl's too shit. This nigga is don't know how to hold the bike. That's good? Yeah. My name Yeah, good. My English. Yo, Jax, can you pass me that? Jax. You guys won't believe what, what just happened, man. I'm tight. I'm tight, like. Look at this. So. Tell me how we just came out of Wendy's, right? From eating, we lock our bikes up to this pole. And like the back wheel was sticking out kind of a little bit, right? But I don't know, we, you know, just, we thought everything was gonna be good and stuff. Once we were done eating, I look out the window, where I check my bike, my bike is like turned the other way around. I come outside, look at this shit, bro. Look at this shit, bro. You can't have nothing nice out here in New York City, bro. You can't, you can't. Then you look at this side, like, look at this. What is this? Clip. Clip. I can't even go home now. I can't even go home. Bro, like, what the hell, man? You can't have nothing nice out here in NYC. You see, man, like, yo, luckily I did not have my Pinarello. I would have been way pissed, but I don't know. I would have lost my shit, but yo, look at this, man. Look at this. Bro, we would just, I'm just, I was just trying to eat, go home after this, and look at this, bro. Look what happens after like 10 minutes of being inside of one piece. And we're like over here by Fulton Street, like, the, like you know, like right over here by the World Trade Center. So I'm surprised, like, what the hell? Like, these drivers don't know how to, like, drive and look? Like, oh my God, bro. So now I don't know what I'm gonna do, but yo, like, there's a dent on the frame. I don't know if you can see that, but my back wheel is cooked. My rim is cooked. Like, why? Why, bro? Why? I'm tight. I'm fucking I'm frustrated right now, man, because now I gotta take the train. Like, this is crazy, man. Why? And yo, like, you, you also want to check my boys out, like, my boy Jax. Look at his stuff. Look at this right here. A little a, a scuff on the stem. Scratches on the frame. And this wheel, I don't know, like, whoa, what, what's wrong with it, you said? Like, when you... Like when he spins the wheel, like you could tell, like right, right over here somewhere. Oh my God, bro! I'm so frustrated right now, bro. Nah, like, bro. How? Like I don't understand how. Oh my God, 
man, right over here outside of Wendy's. And now I have to walk and take the train home, man. Like, that's insane, bro. Like, do you guys see that? This side is clean, but on this side, it's a dent, like a scuff. Damn, bro. How people don't know how to look when they're driving, man. Oh my God. It was right there, like legit right there, bro. Oh my God, bro. Welcome to New York City, man. People don't know how to drive. It's insane, man. Well, no more Araya wheels. Um, red. Damn. So now I guess we are to the train. Like Andy. Now we gotta take the train because my back wheel. Nice stuff, but we're not about to take it. Hey, look at this. 